Hi there, my name is Melanie. Thank you so much for coming to spend some time with me today. I know it has been such a long time since I last uploaded. It's been anywhere from four to five years. Last I uploaded, if you even remember that, I was in high school and I've since graduated college. So a lot of time has gone by, a lot has changed. And one of those things is my makeup style, which is why I'm sitting here bare faced because in just a couple minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and do half of my face the way that I used to do my makeup and the other half the way that I do it now. So if you remember anything about the way that I used to wear my makeup, you'll know that I loved, I absolutely lived for full glam, full beat, full coverage every single day of my life. And part of that was because I wanted to cover my skin. I didn't have the greatest skin at the time, which would make sense because I didn't know anything about skincare. I I didn't know how to approach it. I didn't really care to take the time to learn how to do so just because, you know, I didn't really care. I figured as long as I have makeup that I can cover it with, I'm fine, which is so gross to think about. Nowadays, not only do I not wear makeup every day, which old me would be so shocked to hear, but I also prefer more of a natural approach. I know my skin more. I know what works for me. I know my face even a little bit more. I just know myself a little bit better than I did. So I kind of know what works for me in terms of skincare and makeup. Because my skin has cleared up for the most part, we're ignoring my forehead because that is due to quarantine snacking that has been absolutely out of control. Anyways, because my skin is a lot better, I prefer prefer to show it off a little bit more so I like less coverage, more radiance, more dewiness, glowiness, all the words, you know, you've seen them all over Instagram, wet, lit from within. That whole vibe is what I'm very interested in recently. So it's super different from what I used to do. And I thought what better way to kind of get back into the swing of filming and kind of coming back and doing this than doing a sort of makeup evolution type of video. But yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now and we're gonna get right into the video. So I already prepped the skin. Now I didn't used to do this. So this half of my face really shouldn't have anything on it, but I felt icky not doing that, especially with the amount of foundation that I'm gonna be putting on. So I'm gonna go in with primer now. I used to use more of a pore filling primer. I used to love the Baby Skin by Maybelline. I don't have that anymore, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the one that I am using now, and that's by Supergoop. This is their glow screen. I saw Namvo use this on Instagram, and I thought it looked really pretty. It's very glowy, and it protects you from the sun. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my face. You see how that kind of gives you a very nice sheen? I think it's so pretty. All right, so for foundation, as I said, I used to love full coverage. Now, I would always wear shades that were way too light for me, like Flashback Mary Who. I don't really have any more of the foundations that I used to use and I don't have any shades that are too light for me anymore. I do have a couple full coverage foundations still. One of them is the Maybelline Superstay and that's what I'm gonna be using today. This is a pretty good match for me though, so it's not gonna be as accurate in terms of the type of shade that I used to like to wear. I'm just gonna go ahead and pump some of this on this side of my face. Honestly, I don't know why I was so bad at shade matching and actually I'm not gonna lie I'm not really that good at shade matching now still um, Anytime I would like go to Sephora with my ex He would have to help me shade match and he was actually really good at it And it's not like my skin tone is super problematic or like my undertone or anything. I just don't know Why it's so difficult for me to find my shade. I feel like anything warm Just looks orange on me anything cool just looks gray. So I have to find like a very nice neutral and it's just not always easy. So for this side, I love mixing NARS Sheer Glow with Lancome Skin Feels Good. This is more of a skin tint than a foundation, but I like the finish that this gives me. This is more radiant, while this is more natural, so I like mixing them for that reason. And this doesn't have very much coverage. Obviously, it's a skin tint. I still like using this on its own, but when I do want a teeny bit more coverage, I will go in with this. So that's why I mix these two. The Sheer Glow is in the shade Aruba, and then this is in the shade stand. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix these on the back of my hand. So this I like because you can still see my skin through it. So you can still see some of my freckles. I don't know if this is picking up on camera, but it didn't really cover everything, which I like. On this side, I used to love the Maybelline, I think it was the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I don't have any more of that. So I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline, I don't know what these concealers are called. Yeah, I don't know what these are called. I'm just gonna go in with the shade Medium. These are just the Maybelline liquid concealers. I'm gonna take this under here. Oh, did you just see my cat? There's little Penelope. I don't know if you can see her very well. I'm gonna try and go halvesies on my nose. I don't know if that's gonna work. 
Probably not. Now on this side, I like the NARS Creamy Concealers. I'm gonna take two shades, Sucre d'Orge, which is more of my skin tone shade, and then Praline, which is more of a highlighty shade. Actually, I'm just gonna take Praline today. If I see that it's a little too white, then I'll go in with the other one, but I'm just gonna go and do a little bit of a highlighty shade today alone. This might be a lot of concealer on the nose. I hope it doesn't look crazy. Next, I'm gonna go in with powder. Now, I used to love the NYC translucent powder. I don't have any of that anymore, but I also love the airspun powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I love how this stuff smells. I haven't used it in a while, but it smells so good. This is getting everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend out any creasing that may have occurred. And I just go in with my beauty blender. And I never really baked. I kind of just press this in. And I would use the beauty blender to just set my entire face. Nowadays, I prefer more of a luminous type of powder. Surprise, surprise. I'm gonna take my Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder, and I don't take this on a sponge anymore. I use this brush by e.l.f. It's their blush brush. Yeah, it's their blush brush, and I think that the shape is just perfect to fit right under the eyes, and it doesn't pack as much product as the sponge I feel like does. Like if you go in with a sponge, you can like really press it in. I prefer more of a diffused powder situation. So that's why I take the brush. And again, I'm just gonna blend out any creasing. And this stuff still mattifies. I feel like it just doesn't make you look crazy matte. It's very, I wouldn't say it's very luminous, but it sets without making you super matte. I think I just repeated that like four times. I am going to go in now with bronzer. Now, I have a weird thing with bronzer. Um, like I said in the intro, I kind of know my face a little bit more than I used to. And I don't really use bronzer or contour anymore. I do a little bit, but I don't use it to the extent that I used to. Now, if you can see, I'm sure you can, and this is the full coverage side, so, and you can still see through it. So I have this kind of shadow and I have it on both sides. They don't cover with any sort of makeup. Now, I haven't tried color correcting or anything like that. They are pretty gray, so I'm sure I could color correct and get kind of a blank canvas, but I haven't dabbled in that yet. So for that reason, I don't really use any powder bronzers or m many contouring products anymore. But for the sake of this video, obviously I'm doing what I used to do and I used to love packing on bronzer. So I'm gonna take my NYX powder bronzer, matte bronzer. This is in the color medium on just this big fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna go ham cause I used to just layer this on and it's like I didn't know when to stop. So this is gonna be very muddy, very gross, very orange. For some reason, I used to like that. Now for this side, again, I don't really use that many bronzer or contour products, but I do like to warm up the skin a little bit. I don't take any product down here because of that shadow. Now I use some of this Maybelline Fit Me foundation stick. This is in the color Coconut. And I just take a teeny bit right here and I blend it right in that spot. Now for blush, I have always loved a lot of blush. That has not changed. I used to take this uh, 10 color blush palette by BH. And I think, yeah, this was the shade. As you can see, it's very dirty around it. And I used to pack this basically right on top of my bronzer, just like cover it up. This is gonna look so bad, but that's okay. gorgeous. Hi, editing Melanie here. Just wanted to point out real quick that if you like to wear your makeup like this, that's totally fine. Obviously, do you. Don't let me tell you otherwise. Um, it sounds a little bit like I'm bashing it in this. That's not my intention at all. It's just not my cup of tea. So please don't come for me. I didn't mean any harm. Now for this side, I prefer liquids and creams for highlight, or I'm sorry, for blush. Um, sometimes I will use a powder blush just to kind of set anything that's there, just depending on my mood, but typically I go in with just a liquid or a cream. So today I'm going to use the NARS liquid blush. This is in the color Torrid. I'm just going to give this a little shake. And a little bit of this stuff goes quite a long way. So I'm just going to take 
couple little dots. Okay, I think that's enough. I could, no, I think that's good for now. I might, okay, I might add just a teeny little bit more, just a teeny, teeny little bit right there. Now, what is next? Highlight. So I used to love the Anastasia Glow Kit in that glow. This is a highlighting palette. This is like the OG, I think, maybe, at least for me. Um, and I used to take Dripping in Gold and I would use, this double-ended brush, I don't know where it's from, where I got it, but I would just use this fluffy side and highlight. And I would take some on the nose. I would do like a little exclamation mark. That's still a really pretty highlight. Okay, this side. If I use a highlighter, I typically stick to the MAC Strobe Cream. I think it's in gold light. If I could find it. Found it. So this is the Max Strobe Cream in the color Gold Light. And I just grab the tiniest little bit. I like to dot this on kind of in a C shape. And then I take some on my forehead and then I use some as an inner corner highlight. So the reason I don't always use highlighter either is because I feel like I have enough kind of glowy products on my face that I don't need too much of a highlight. But when I do, like I said, I use this strobe cream and then I just blend it out. And I prefer this stuff over powder highlights because I feel like it gives you more of that wet look. And there you have it. Next is eyebrows. Now, I am not fond of doing my eyebrows. I feel like it's so easy to just go overboard, but I didn't really realize this before. So I would take Dip Brow, of course, by Anastasia. And this is in the shade Dark Brown. And I used to just line underneath and above. And then to set, I would take my ABH brow setting gel or brow gel. This is a clear one. I don't know if they have colors. Maybe they do. I don't know. I haven't kept up with them. I'm now a benefit girl. All right, so that is this brow. Now, today, I like more natural, more feathery. The way that my brows grow, it's hard to make them feathery on an everyday basis. So I don't really go feathery. I just kind of go with the flow. I just fill in where I need to. And I try to stay away from here as much as I can. Because like I said, I feel like it's so easy to go overboard. And I do more of the hair stroke technique than just the under and over straight lines. And following that, I take my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. By the way, this was the precisely my brow, but this is a 24 hour brow setter. I think the brush on this is just incredible. So I used to do an eyeshadow look almost every day. So I'm gonna do that. I used to love neutral tones, so I'm just gonna stick to that. I'm gonna take the Morphe 35O and I'm gonna take this orange shade. I used to love orange in the crease. This is a MAC 217. And I'm just gonna put this in the crease. Next, I'm taking this deeper shade right here and putting that in the outer V. Then I'm taking this copper kind of foiled shade on the lid and I'm just gonna take that on my finger. I think this color is so pretty. And for an inner corner highlight, I used to love matte shades. So I'm gonna take this white shade right here and plop that right here. And of course I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line with kind of the same shades that I used up top. That got in my eye. I also took that white shade that I used in the inner corner and just patted some on with my finger under the brow. Now I'm gonna go in with liner. I used to love big liner. I used to love extending the inner corner to kind of give me that kind of feline-esque type of look. This is the liner that I would use. I still love this stuff. This is super old though. I haven't used it in a long time, so I'm hoping this is still good. Okay, yeah, this is the NYC liquid liner in black, I think. I can't see any of the text on it. I'm 
My cat is snoring. I don't know if you can hear her. She's in this chair right behind me. I hope she's having sweet dreams. Now I'm gonna add black liner to the waterline and this is the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Pencil. And I'm also gonna take it right under so that I can then go in and smoke it out with some black shadow. Or maybe not black, maybe like a, the dark brown that I used in the outer corner. I love to use bronzer as eyeshadow. I just go in with my NYX matte bronzer and I just put this all over the place. And sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, I'll add a little bit of shimmer to the lid, but I'm not feeling like it today, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Now I'm going to go in with liner. I don't use actual eyeliner, I just use a deep brown shadow. So I'm going to take my James Charles X Morphe palette, this is the mini. I'm going to take the shade Benny right here on an angled liner brush, and I'm just going to darken the lash line. I don't really do wings on a regular basis anymore. So I just went ahead off camera and put some mascara on. I used to love the L'Oreal Telescopic, but I don't have that anymore. So I just went in with what I use now and that's the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. So I just put that on the upper and lower lashes of both eyes and now it's time for falsies. So I used to love big, crazy, dramatic lashes. I don't have any of those anymore, but I do have one last pair and this is by Lily. These are in the style Monaco. I still enjoy these. I'm just gonna put this on this side and then for this side, I really like the Red Cherry lashes in the style Wispy. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these on real quick and I'll be right back. Moving on to lipstick, I used to love switching between the Kylie Lip Kit in Pumpkin and the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Lolita. Because I kind of have more bronzy orange tones, I'm gonna go in with Pumpkin, which I still think this is such a pretty lip kit. Now for this side, I typically just like to go in with a lip liner, if anything. Sometimes I just won't put anything on my lips because I'm okay with just like a balm. But I am going to go in with my Kylie lip liners in the colors Coconut on the outside and then Caramel on the inside. For setting spray, I have always used the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray, so I'm just going to spray that all over my face. And then I let that sit and dry. Alright, and this is the finished look on both sides. This is what I used to look like on a regular basis. And then this is what I look like today. I guess I should also point out that my everyday consists of glasses. So I know that this is like, my light is reflecting against it, but this is my everyday situation with my glasses on. All right, and that is it for me, you guys. Please let me know which side you prefer. Obviously this one is a lot more full glam, full coverage, and this is more of a natural situation. I think they're both pretty nice, minus the muddiness right here and minus the big brow, which actually doesn't look too bad next to everything. Um, I like it. It's just different from what I do now. So I actually might incorporate some more stuff that I do here. Like I like this eye, the lashes I like. I do actually like the coverage of that foundation. I haven't picked that up in quite a while. So I might start to use that from time to time if I want a little bit more of a glam look. And that is it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. And please subscribe and share this video if you can. I would really appreciate it. That would really help me out. And also ring the bell so you can get notified anytime that I upload. I'm very excited to have an uploading schedule. I have a few videos in mind that will be coming out over the next couple of weeks that I'm very excited about. Just let me know what kind of content you want to see. I am open to suggestions and feedback. If there's something you think I could improve on, anything like that please let me know I would love to hear it give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you didn't that's fine please let me know what you would like to see instead but yeah thank you so much for sticking around I will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye